first of all, how are things going? All according to plan, three and a half weeks out? Yeah, all according to plan. You know, like you said, three and a half weeks out. And the work is getting harder and harder, more and more intense as, as it should be. You know, but that's pretty typical for a fight of this caliber. You know, you without hard work, there's no way possible to make it. On paper, you'd look at this fight and... I say common sense would tell you to, to, to side with, with Vladimir. But is this about is it about skills? Is it about youth? Is it about timing? Is it about power? What is this about this fight? I think this fight is about will. I think this fight power has nothing to do with it because we see both guys has power. Um um you can't say one is a gold medal because they both have a gold medal. This fight all comes down to the will of the man who won it most. That's all it is. And Vladimir's been talking about this obsession time and time exactly, again exactly, that he's exactly. coming back off the Tyson Fury defeat and that this means an enormous amount to him. You're with him every day. Do you get that sense day in, day out? I mean, of course, but you got to keep in mind it means an enormous amount to Joshua as well. So once again, that's why, that's why I say it boils down to when these guys look at each other in the eyes and after that bell rings, um, it, it, that's what it's going to boil down to. Who wants it? Who wants this the most? But does Joshua not remind you of a younger version of Vladimir? How he carries himself in the ring, how he carries himself out of the ring, his hunger, his desire, his 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 composure, how he handles the the, the success. Because Vladimir said, you know, give someone success and help them. That's how you can see if it's going to destroy them. Well, bits and pieces you could put um, the things Joshua has done into a lot of guys. You know, just bits and pieces. I can't say it's all Vladimir, it's all this and all that. But in, in this regard, Joshua has some success. And in my opinion, he's a very, very nice guy, very good person, and um, has very high level success. And I think it's great. And he has been handling it very well. And he, I, I, have, me, I haven't seen any slip-ups. He takes every fight seriously. And if you pay attention to him, he's growing each fight. He's getting better. Well, he got caught with one fight. He won't get caught with it again the next fight. And I, I, I just think he, he's growing. He's showing a lot of maturity and a lot of growth. And I think that's why this fight is going to be it sold out the way it did. That's why. And I think that's why it doesn't matter. To, this, for me, this is my thriller in Manila. You know, because I wasn't around for, for that one. I wasn't around for it. This is, this is my rumble in the jungle right here. You know, so for me, this, this is the top, as high, the highest mountain you can get in, you could be at as the heavyweight championship of the world. Jonathan, the last thing you're going to let us know and let us into is your tactical game plan, of course. But what about the sparring partners that have come in? We've hold there's, there's a lot, there's bucket loads this time. You know, next week there's a, there's a fresh uh, new lot, amateurs, top pros, world title challengers. That's exactly what you need for AJ. Well, I think um, the bottom line, the tactic for me, the goal is to win. That's number one. And um, number two, like, like this, as far as the sparring partners goes, it's just activity. Even for talking about both guys now, AJ as well as Vladimir. It's just tactics to get a person's mind sharp enough to prepare for battle. That's really what it is. Will the sparring partners help one do better than the other? I personally don't think so. You know, but it's, it's basically, it's a mental game. You know, it's whoever working the hardest and whoever wants it the most. You're going to see that on fight night. And I think that's the biggest thing here. Um, have a little success made AJ comfortable? From the looks of it, no, not even close. Have all this success and the one and this defeat made Vladimir hold his head down and not want to, can, can he still ride the bicycle like he once rode it before? You know, from the looks of it right now, it looks like, like it. But that's why a lot of questions will be, will be answered for on the fighters. night for both fighters on the 29th. This is not one way, a one way street here. This street goes both ways because it's, it's a lot of questions on this side and that side. So the question for AJ, is he the next big thing in boxing? You know, and the question of Vladimir, can he still do it? Is it all, has Father Time taken his toll? You know, they look at it as a Larry Holmes and, and, Mike, and a young Mike Tyson. But no one even realized that Larry Holmes was sitting on the couch in retirement mm -hmm. when he got the call to fight Mike Tyson. 
He didn't know who this guy was. All he knew was to heard the, the, the numbers, the, the numbers of the, of, of the money. He said, oh, I'll go make some money. Let's go. And, 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 and Vladimir's not been sitting on the couch. Vladimir has not been sitting on the couch. Um, he, he's not saying, let me go make some money. He really has a desire. And I think that's what made him, makes him the most dangerous right now. Because he have all desire to do this. Not saying AJ don't, but um, the financial gain it does it, it, it won't change his lifestyle. <laughs> his lifestyle will remain the same because, like they say in there, I mean, he he's he has what he has, you know. So, but I think that's what made the guy dangerous. The guy who walk in the woods, that's his on the way home, and the guy who walk in the woods, because that's what he want to do.